Hi there everybody, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope overview report for March the 28th. Can you believe we're already at the end of March and we've made it through to eclipses, although there's been some pretty amazing stuff happening around the world, some of it uh, not so good. Um, so I hope that you've survived it. I know that myself and some of my friends have really come up against some um, let's say things that have given us some realizations in life and uh, and of course that leads to change and you know as they say once you realize things then change becomes easier so uh, let's hope so uh, it's certainly been a very eventful month and just to finish off that month um, we've got three aspects with Mercury so in one way or another it seems to be a time of communication and quite often you know after the intense energy of um, two eclipses then guess what um, communication can be the thing that sorts everything out and let's not forget that part of communication is listening as well being a good listener is really a skill it's not something that you know necessarily comes automatic to everybody um, and you know when our emotions get involved and we feel passionate about something then of course we want to put our uh, you know our word in and I think each and every one of us can remember a time or perhaps uh, it's something we need to work on of being able to just sit back and listen to the other person without being overly concerned of you know cutting off off at the end and getting our point of view in um, so I, I think this week with these three aspects uh, with Mercury it's a good time to sort of you know be mindful of that and think about what's your form of communication how can how can we all improve the way that we communicate whether it's uh, standing up for ourselves um, or sitting back and listening to the other person and and aiming for that win-win outcome at the at the end game okay uh, but the first of right it's all pretty well happening in the middle of the week and uh, we have mercury sits in the sign of aries so um, it, just being in Aries makes us a little bit uh, impulsive you know Aries are quick thinkers uh, quick to action they want to get things done there's a certain impatience about Aries which is really a strength and um, a, a challenge for them at the same time so that whole Aries energy and uh, uh, Uranus sits in there at the moment too slow moving planet uh, been there for a while, going to be there for a while. So, uh, so Mercury is going to go retrograde too next month. So this is a great time to really get things sort of settled if you've got some outstanding business and who doesn't. Uh, so the first one is with Mercury is in a um, trine with Saturn. Uh, now Saturn sits in another fire sign, of course if it's trying it's in the same sign and Saturn is retrograde at the moment so there's almost there's a discussion going on um, uh, about the future it can be with Saturn uh, it's a, it can be a little bit cautious a little bit of frustration even though this is a soft aspect uh, what's called a soft aspect which is a, you know a more easygoing aspect we do have uh, the fire sign elements here and we do have Saturn which likes to pull back and the fire signs like to push forward so there's a little bit of a conflict going there and of course Saturn uh, as I said is retrograde so it's a great time to sort of think about plans uh, coming up to Mer Mercury retrograde I think it's about the middle of the month um, by memory I don't have the exact date in front of me uh, it, that's a uh, that's a terrific time to really research and get plans in um, in order so right now leading up to that period is a great time to 
uh, have the discussions and decide on what way you want to go. And then in, invariably, once you make a decision about what you want to do, how you want to do it, then the work comes about putting it into action and putting it. And just and before you go into action, of course, there's all that planning period. So that planning, research, thinking it through period is terrific to do um, in a, a Mercury retrograde and towards the end of April there's going to be about five planets retrograde at once so just like looking forward keeping that in mind use this time over the next couple of weeks to really get things set and have those discussions um, then we do have a square between a Pluto and uh, Mercury now Pluto is a very powerful planet um, you you want to be careful here with getting into loggerheads and power plays okay so this is a good time to sort of step back and put those listening skills in because also when you do step back and let someone else have their say sometimes they can reveal more information than they intend okay so there's sort of wisdom in doing that on, on more than one more than one level and then we've got um uh, Mercury and Uranus in, in a conjunction, so both in the same sign, they are at the same degree, this is the direct, so this conjunction has been coming up, then we'll um, exit out of it, but we're at the exact degree, degree of that hit and and that's uh, and amazing things can happen with Mercury and um, Uranus uh, and particularly in Mars because it's very action oriented things can come out of the blue with Uranus um, Mercury and Uranus are both highly creative and Mars uh, are uh, highly can do proactive so um, I like this a lot the only thing that you need to be a little careful of is that you don't make too many assumptions and um, take a step back and make sure that the communication between you and others is equal okay uh, but all in all I mean there are some uh, moon aspects as well right at the end of the weekend we've got trine between the moon with the sun um, uh, the sun is in this same position of, of Aries 2 now and because we just had the equinox uh, about a week ago uh, so we've got the moon in a nice trying soft aspect the sun uh, Venus uh, Uranus and um, uh, Saturn so you know this can make things a little bit emotional but it can really help you get in touch with your uh, instincts and how you really feel about things rather than being so logical so as always the best combination is when you can be you know put your logic and your intuition together and you know that takes some time to learn to do that and I think in the process of doing that sometimes you know when we're used to sort of being more logically and we start to sort of use our intuition more you've got that little confusing period in the time before you get through to the other end where you can naturally uh, combine the two to your benefit so uh, you know as my spiritual teacher John Mark Shaw in New York always used to say when you're going through the messiness of life I love that term uh, that's when you know things are changing okay so <laughs> if you're going through some messiness which many of us are right now at the uh, post eclipses then just know then sometimes it's it's these triggers that help to make some change okay all right love and light to you i'm going to go ahead now and do the uh, reports the weekly individual reports okay bye for now